And you know what? It was also really beautiful here in Northeast Ohio as well. I got to give a quick shout out though before we jump into the weather to my fifth grade friends at Yay. Barack Obama Elementary School in beautiful Maple Heights, Ohio. They asked wonderful questions. We were geeking out about all things weather. Thank you so much for letting me geek out with you guys. You can always, of course, follow me not only on Facebook and Twitter, but on Instagram. That's Michael Estime WX. And if you're a teacher, maybe you're a student and you'd like myself or another member of the Channel 3 weather team to come and geek out with you, feel free to send me a message and we'll set something up. Tomorrow your Sunday looks equally as nice as today. In fact, I think that some of our forecast models might actually be underdoing our temperatures. I actually think we may make it into the upper 40s, low to mid 50s outside. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast on your Sunday. It'll be a beautiful way to wrap up the weekend. And keep in mind that we do not see weekends this nice in Northeast Ohio all that often. So please take full advantage of it. Current temps outside right now, if you're heading perhaps downtown and maybe you do want to check out Bright Winter Fest. We're currently sitting comfy in the low to mid 30s in downtown with a southwest wind anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. That is taking a little bite out of the air temperature. So although it says 32 in Elyria in Lorraine County only really feels like 26. We're dry right now. That is compliments of high pressure situated down toward our south. And notice that we're going to see that nice southwesterly flow of air throughout the day tomorrow. And that'll mean again we're expecting much warmer temperatures on Sunday. There is something I'm keeping my eyes out on though for Monday evening. You'll notice a developing area of low pressure over around the Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle. All of this moisture, it comes with a lot of cloud cover too, is going to be thrust into Northeast Ohio. That happens mainly Monday afternoon into Monday evening. And with it, I think that we may see some showers developing by that point. So if you have any Monday night plans or any Tuesday, Wednesday, or even Thursday plans, know that you'll want to make sure that they are indoor options and that there's indoor options available because again we are expecting not only rain but also some snow in the forecast as well. We'll pick things up at midnight, take you through your Sunday fun day morning and things looking wonderful. Don't forget the sunglasses. You'll certainly need it. It'll also be kind of cool to start things off, but into the afternoon again, I think that we easily make it into the upper 40s, low to mid 50s on Sunday before again we start to retreat back into the 30s Sunday night. Here's what the Universal Windows direct full 10 day forecast looks like. Notice again, we're going low to mid 50s on Sunday. Should be a beautiful wrap up to your weekend. Most of Monday looks great. Again, rain moves in late with that area of low pressure moving in, and then that means rain all day on. On Tuesday with rain mixing with snow showers on Wednesday. The bottom falls out on us by Thursday and Friday. Temperatures struggling to make it out of the 20s with lake effect snow. Keep in mind that there is virtually no ice out on Lake Erie. That could create a lot of lake effect in parts of our primary and secondary snow belt. You've been warned. And then as we head into this upcoming weekend, looks like we may see a few residual flur flurries before we warm things back up. But again, Lena, I am so excited for that 54 and sunshine tomorrow. Yes, enjoy it.